Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to our All Stars for 2019, uh, both hurling and football. Welcome to their teachers and their coaches. Welcome to our guests here from uh, and our sponsors from Danske Bank, to Una, Victoria, Rachel, and Amy. Welcome to guests as well. Um, each All Star will come to the front of the room for a special photograph with uh, the presentation party, which is Una Murdoch from Danska and um, Jimmy Smith, Chair of Ulster Schools GA. So, uh, I'll hand you over now to uh, Tommy Rogers, Ulster Schools Committee, who will do the introductions for the All Stars. Tommy. We'll start with the introduction of the Danska Bank Ulster Schools Hurling All Stars. This year's goalkeeper is Leo Passmore from Loretto Colrain. <laughs> Leo has played both hurling and football for his school Loretto and has collected Ulster Schools medals for Danske Bank, Brother Mallon Cup three times, Trainer Cup, Irish News Cup and Ranafa Shield. He has represented Derry at underage level and is a medalist from the Celtic Challenge win. He plays his club hurling with Owen Rua Colrain. Right corner back on this year's team is Cormac Donnelly from Cross and Passion College, Ballycastle. <laughs> Cormac has represented his school in both football and hurling and picked up hurling medals for the Danske Bank Thompson Shield, McNamee, Gallagher, Leonard and Forrester's Cups. He has kept an Antrim at under 15 level and won under 16B All-Ireland and Celtic Challenge Cup medals playing with the Saffrons. At club level with his club McQuillans and Ballycastle, he has won North Antrim Underage Championships and a Fail in the Nail Skills medal. Cormac is also the head boy in Cross and Passion College, right cornerback Cormac Donnelly. Fullback is Declan McCluskey from St. Louis Ballymena. Declan is another dual player for club and school, picking up a Danske Bank Corn Column Kill medal with St. Louis while he was a member of the Antrim Under-17 team that captured the Celtic Challenge title. With Loch Giel, he has won underage league and championship medals while also winning Southwest Under-14 and Under-16 football championships and a Breslin Cup with Con McGee's Glen Ravel, fullback Declan McCluskey. Left cornerback is Niall O'Connor from St Malachy's College, Belfast. <laughs> Niall is only the second hurler from St Malachy's to win an All-Star. He has represented his school in both hurling and football, winning a Danske Bank Casement Shield medal. At club level with his club, Nivena Glengormley, he has won South Antrim Leagues and Championships and Antrim Fail in the Nail B and Minor B titles. He has also won an All-Ireland Under 16B medal with Antrim Hurlers and played for Antrim at all levels from under 14 to minor. He is also a keen basketball player and was in the school team that reached the All-Ireland final a couple of years ago. Your left cornerback, Nal O'Connor. Right halfback, Cormac McGettigan. Cormac has represented his school, St Mary's Christian Brothers Grammar School, Belfast, at all levels in hurling and football, winning Danske Bank, Gallagher and McGeehan Cup medals. He has played on the Antrim under-17 and minor teams, while at club level with O'Donovan Ross of Belfast, he has been part of a very successful squad that won the Antrim under-16 double in football and hurling, two All-Ireland fill in the nail hurling titles and Antrim minor and under-21 football titles. Cormac is a grandson of Sean McGettigan, one of the men responsible for the purchase and development of Casement Park in the early 1950s. Right half back, Cormac McGettigan. Centre half back, Tim Prenter from St Patrick's Down Patrick. <laughs> Tim collects his second All Star today, having been named at centre forward in last year's team. He was a member of the Undoon team that won the recent Danske Bank. McGeehan Cup final, and he also holds a McFarlane Cup medal with his school, whom he has represented at all levels in both hurling and football. 
He has represented his county at all underage levels, winning an Ireland under-16 title and Celtic Challenge. He has also played county minor football for Down and was recently named in both the Down Senior Hurling Panel and the Down Under-20 Football Panel for the new season ahead. Tim has a Down Division II League medal, two minor championships and an under-16 league title with Bally Gelgit and has Down and Ulster titles in handball. And his father and uncles have represented Antrim in both football and hurling. Centre half back, Tim Prenter. <laughs> Left half back, Owen Cassidy from St. Columns College, Derry. <laughs> Owen is the first hurling all star from his school. He is a dual player for the school and has collected medals for the Danske Bank, Maguire, and Rehill Cups. Owen has captained Derry under 17s to the 2018 All Ireland Celtic Challenge title where they defeated Galway in the final. With his club, Kevin Lynch's of Dungiven, he has won two Derry under 16 and three Derry minor medals, and two of those minor teams have gone on to collect Ulster Club Championships in 2017 and 2018. Left half back, Owen Cassidy. Midfield, Cormac McFadden from St Louis Ballymena. Cormac has a Danske Bank McGreevy Cup medal with St. Louis. He was a member of the Antrim under 17 team that captured the Celtic Challenge title and also won an Ulster Minor Championship with the Saffrons. At club level, he has won a couple of North Antrim Championships and was a member of the minor team that lost the recent county final in a replay to Dunloy. Cormac is also a keen boxer and has won two Antrim boxing titles. Midfield Cormac McFadden. Second midfield position on this year's team goes to Phelan Savage from De La Salle down Patrick. <laughs> Phelan is the first player from a school to win an All-Star. He was superb at midfield as Undoon captured this season's McGeehan Cup in November. He was also named as the inaugural Danske Bank Hurler of the Month for October for his displays for Undoon. October was a busy month for the Ballycran clubman as he also played at midfield as his club won the Down Senior Championship and went on to end the Ulster three-in-a-row bid of Slough Neil. He also holds a Down Minor Championship medal and has represented the county at all underage levels, winning a Celtic Challenge medal and an All-Ireland Under-16B title. His father, Gary, played for Down in Ulster and won three Ulster Senior Championship medals with the county, Phelan Savage. Right half forward is Finton Bradley from St. Patrick's College, Mahara. <laughs> Finton was selected on the last Derry Vocational Schools All-Star football team while a student in St. Mary's Claddy. Since transferring to St. Patrick's, he has played in two Danske Bank McGeehan finals, winning one. His phenomenal scoring returns were the main reason that Mahara reached this year's final. He scored 113 out of 313 in the quarter final against St Mary's. Finton has underage medals with his club Lavi and was a member of the teams that won the 2017 Derry under 21 title and reached the 2018 minor and senior finals. He has also represented Derry in minor football and is currently a member of the St Patrick's College McCrory Cup team. Right half forward, Finton Bradley. Send our forward is Finton Donnelly from St. Patrick's Cady. <laughs> Finton, a dual player, holds five Danske Bank Ulster medals for the Kirk and Leopold Cups, McGreevy Shield and back-to-back -back Casement Cup medals. He is currently a member of the school football team hoping to win the Danske Bank McLarnon Cup. Finton has represented Armagh through the age groups, reaching national finals, and with Katie Lavyarik, he has collected a host of underage titles, including three Armagh Phil and Neil titles, and his father is a former Armagh County player. That's your centre half forward, Finton Donnelly. Left half forward from St Mary CBS Belfast is Aaron Bradley. Aaron has represented his school at all levels in both hurling and football, winning Danske Bank, Gallagher and McGeehan Cup medals. He has played on the Antrim underage teams in hurling, 
While at club level with Nivon in Belfast, he has collected underage medals in both football and hurling, including an Antrim Phil in the Nail title. Left half forward, Aaron Bradley. Right corner forward is Sean Elliott from St. Louis Ballymena. <laughs> Sean holds a Danske Bank McGeehan Cup medal from 2015 with St. Louis, and he has also won a Corn Column Kill football title with his school. He has represented Antrim at underage level, winning Ulster Minor and Celtic Challenge hurling titles. With his club, Dunloy Cahullians, he has won a plethora of underage medals across both codes, including four Antrim minor hurling, two Antrim minor football, two Antrim under-21 hurling, and one Ulster minor club title. His father won nine Antrim senior club titles and eight Ulster club titles, and also played for Antrim and Ulster. That's Sean Elliott from St. Louis Ballymena. Full forward on this year's team is Sean McKay from St. Killian's College, Garantar. Sean played on the St. Killian's team that reached the 2016 Danske Bank McGeehan Cup final. He has also played underage hurling for Antrim, winning a Celtic Challenge title and an Ireland Under 16B Championship. A dual player, Sean has collected a Southwest Antrim League title with his club Con McGee's, as well as a Breslin Cup and an Under 14 and Under 16 Southwest Championships. That's Sean McKay. The final position on this year's Danske Bank All Stars hurling side is also from St. Louis Ballymena, and that's Anton McGrath. <laughs> Anton holds Danske Bank Ulster Schools medals for the Kirk, Casman, and McGeehan Cups. He has represented Antrim at underage level, winning two Ulster Minor and one Celtic Challenge hurling title. With his club Dunloy Cahullians, he has won a plethora of underage medals that include four Antrim Minor, two Antrim Under-21 and one Ulster Minor club titles. He was also a member of the Dunloy senior team that won the Antrim Championship in 2017. His father won 10 Antrim senior club titles as well as nine Ulster club titles. So that completes the 2019 Danske Bank Ulster Schools All-Star Hurling Team. We move on now to the All-Star football selection for this year. And the goalkeeper is Shea McGill from St. Paul's Bestbrook. Unfortunately, Shea isn't with us today. I think he's on holiday in New York. So um, well done to Shea. Uh, we we'll move now on to right corner back position from Patrician High School, Carrick McCross, Ronan Grimes. Ronan has captained his school, Patrician High, to the Danske Bank Brock Cup, and he also holds a medal for the Corn Column Kill. He has played for Monaghan through the age groups and holds Ulster Minor League and Championship medals, as well as a Jerry Riley Under-16 Tournament souvenir. While at club level, he has captained his club, Kilani, to the Division Three Under-16 double, and recently they won the Division I minor title. That's right corner back, Ronan Grimes. At fullback this year is Nisha Omeinoin from St. Columns College in Derry. <laughs> Nisha holds Danske Bank Ward and Corn Cahullin medals from his years playing for his school, Lumen Christie. In schools competition and with Craig Ban, he won a Derry Under 16B Championship. Apart from his sporting achievements, Nisha has appeared on screen, having a main part in the 2014 Northern Ireland screen production, a short film about fear. So well done to Nisho Mainan, selected at fullback. Left cornerback from Abbey CBS Newry is Paul Martin. <laughs> Paul is vice captain of his school McCrory Cup team, and he has represented Armagh at underage level through minors to the under 20 panel that reached the 2018 Ulster final. He has captained his club team, Drum and Tee, at different age levels, and he won an Armagh Under-14 Championship, as well as a minor league title. Left corner back, Paul Martin. 
Right half back from St Malachy's Castle Well is Brendan McKay. <laughs> Brendan is the first player from a school St Malachy's or club Dramara to earn an Ulster Schools All Star. With St Malachy's, he has won a Danske Bank Rafferty Cup and a Danske Bank McKevitt Cup title, and he is the current McLaren Cup captain. Brendan has also won a Queen's University Future Star Awards, which he got two years ago. He has represented down at minor level and has won under 14 and under 16 county championships with his club Dramara. That's right half back, Brendan McKay. Sent half back from Dramara Integrated College, Oma, is Matthew Murnahan. Matthew is the first ever Ulster Schools All-Star to come from the integrated sector and was the captain of his Drumrah College team that broke new ground by winning the 2016 JJ Riley Cup. He is an Ulster and All-Ireland medalist with the Tyrone Under-17s from 2017 and he has played at Under-20 level for his county this season and a couple of weeks ago was brought into the county senior panel by manager Mickey Hart. He has had a successful 2018 at club level, captaining the Miners in their run to the county final and was in the Killy Clogher senior team that also reached the final. As a result, he was awarded the Team Talk Mag and O'Neill's Young Footballer of 2018. That's Matthew Murnahan from Drumra. Left half back from St Coleman's College Nearney is Patrick Brooks. Patrick has played at all levels for St Coleman's and was a member of the Down Under 17s that won the Ulster League title. While with his club, Glenn John Martins, he has won a South Down minor title. Patrick also excels in track athletics and cross country and has won two All Ireland cross country medals. Patrick Brooks and Coleman's. The first midfield position on this year's team is taken by Brendan Horan from St Michael's College, Enniskillen. Brendan has captained his school St Michael's at both Ranafast and McCrory Cup level and is in his third season with his McCrory team. He has represented Fermanagh at all under age levels and was recently called into the county senior squad for 2019. He plays his club football with Inniskill and Gales and has won three minor league and championships as well as an Ulster minor club title as well as the Fermanagh Division 2 league title. Brandon's father has represented Galway and Hurling. As your first midfield selection, Brandon Horn from St Michael's. Second midfield slot on this year's team goes to Joe Aguz from St Kieran's College, Ballygally. <laughs> Joseph has won medals for the Danske Bank Trainer, Rafferty and McLaren Cups during his time in St Kieran's. And he is an Ulster and All Ireland under 17 medalist with Tyrone from 2017. In the club colours of his Erigal Kieran club, he has won back to back Tyrone minor titles and was part of the senior team that recently won the County Division 1 league. Joseph takes his football from his mother, Selena, who has Tyrone and Ulster medals with her club. Midfield, Joe Agus. Right half forward from Lumen Christie College Derry is Ben McCarran. Ben is the first player from Lumen Christie to win a Danske Bank Schools All-Star. He has helped Lumen Christie to the Danske Bank Ward and Cuchulain Cup titles. He has won Ulster Minor and Under-20 titles with Derry and an Under-16B Championship with his club Brianog of Steelstown. For his underage exploits with Derry, Ben was awarded an All-Ireland Airgrid All-Star. Right half forward, Ben McCarran. Send our forward from St. Patrick's College Armagh is Michael Conroy. <laughs> Michael was the inaugural winner of the Danske Bank Footballer of the Month for his McCrory Cup exploits with St. Patrick's during October. But Michael's only Ulster Schools medal came in the Danske Bank Brock Cup while he was a student at St. Patrick's Academy, Dungannon. 
Another member of the successful Tyrone Ulster and All Ireland Under 17 team of 2017, Michael has won a Grade 2 championship with his club Moichir Nanog, as well as two Under 21 Tyrone titles at centre half forward Michael Conroy. <laughs> Left half forward from Our Ladies Castle Blaney is Robbie Hanratty. Robbie was on the school team that reached the Danske Bank McLaren Cup final two seasons ago, while with Monaghan Miners he has won the Ulster League and Championship double in 2018. He also has a Jerry Riley Cup medal from earlier in his county career. With his clubs Casablini Fogs, he has won an under 16 Division 1 Championship and the minor Division 2 double. He is also an accomplished basketball player with his school. That's left half forward Robbie Hanratty. Right corner forward from St. Patrick's Academy, Dungannon, is Ryan McCabe. <laughs> Ryan helped the academy to the Danske Brank Brock Cup title and has played in both the Cornanog and Ranafast Cup finals. He is another of the Tyrone Ulster and All-Ireland winning under-17 team of 2017 and he plays his club football with Clonoa Rahalis. That's right corner forward, Ryan McCabe. Full forward from OMA CBS is Mark Hayes. Mark is the second member of the St Mary's Killy Clogher Club to receive an award here today. He is a Danske Bank Dalton Cup winner with the brothers and another member of the Ulster and All Ireland winning Tyrone Under 17 team from 2017. He has recently been called into the County Under 20 panel for the season ahead. He has captained his club in one of the two Tyrone Under 16 finals and in 2018 helped the Miners in their run to the County Final. Mark is also an accomplished basketball player with eight full Irish caps and 12 more with Northern Ireland. That's full forward Mark Hayes. And the final position on this year's Danske Bank All-Stars football team goes to Tiernan Quinn from Holy Trinity College, Kirkstown. <laughs> Tiernan was part of the Holy Trinity team that won the Danske Bank McLaren Cup last March and then went on to win the All-Ireland Paddy Drummond Cup in Croke Park. Tiernan also won the inaugural All-Ireland Under-17 Championship in Croke Park to add to the provincial success earlier in 2017. He has won Tyrone Under-16 Minor and Senior Championship medals with his club, Cool Island Nafena. That, ladies and gentlemen, completes the Danske Bank Ulster Schools All-Stars football team for this year. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to once again congratulate everyone who picked up awards here today. I'd like to thank especially their teachers uh, who put in so much time and effort bringing them along to the trials and uh, on many cases their parents. But uh, I'd like you to show your appreciation to the man who was organiser in chief, uh, if not solely, uh, of the All-Star Hurling and Football trials as well as the, the future All-Star trials as well and that's uh, the quiet man right Seamus Wood so on your behalf thank you very much <laughs>